Hi my lovely Frosty fam, it's me Karen Frost here at Nail Decadence and I've got a PR package that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, the lovely people at Born Pretty have sent me some goodies including this really nice brush. It's a very fine tipped brush for good, uh, it's really good for detail, which is really actually happy with this brush. You know what my, my hands are like, they're really shaky but you can get really fine lines with it anyway so I'm just gonna open everything show you what is all included in the package and then I will do a um, quick design with some of the products I will be doing another video at some point um, doing my own nails probably I don't know we'll see at the moment I'm not feeling totally inspired but you know we'll see I'm just taking it each day as it goes like I've said loads of times before so what I have been sent was obviously that brush you saw and then I got sent some gel polish like this um, blue jelly glittery one's really pretty then this amazing neon luminous gel which is so neon it's the camera cannot pick up the color of this it is so bright it's a really really in your face bright pink it's amazing also this uh, metallic, it's like a chrome type finish um, drawing gel and I noticed that um, you don't actually have to top coat it, it doesn't have a tacky layer and in fact if you don't top coat it you get more of a mirror shine, if you top coat it you get more of a silver as opposed to a chromey mirror shine so yeah there's two ways you can you can use it so if you wanted to top coat the nails first and then draw using this uh, metallic drawing gel over the top it you will get more of the chrome looking effect and um, but when you top coat it goes to more of the silver so choice is yours you can use it either way so I thought I'd just let you know that because that's something that I noticed with uh, working with it also got sent this pink <coughs> excuse me this pink poly gel so it's it's nice and firm that's why I sort of, you know taps it with my finger to see what the consistency was like it's quite firm so I'm gonna have a play with that at some point too but not in this video it'll be another one and yeah it I'm, I'm intrigued to give it a go because it's quite you know it's not moving at all it's, it's quite solid so it'll be be fun to have a play with that and then also this glitter gel which is a very pretty sort of it's a pink but it's I, I'm it's like is it a rose pink I'm not sure how to describe this pink <laughs> but it is definitely a pink very glittery uh, gel polish so I'm gonna do a quick swatch of all of them starting with this metallic chrome type um, gel well drawing gel it's not really meant for full coverage You're supposed to just you know draw with it but I thought I'd, I'd do it on a full coverage basis just so you can see what it looks like but like I said do remember that if you want it to remain um, really chromey you need to um, not top coat it but also let it settle for a little while because if you stir the pot, I've noticed, it will go sort of matte. And when you leave the pot alone to settle for a while, you'll get that sort of really shiny chrome surface on the top. If you start drawing it with it at that point, when it's like really silvery, shiny on top, um, you'll get the chrome shiny look. Uh, but when you spread it on the way I've done it with that uh, gel brush, as because I'm applying it over the entire tip it kind of mixes it which um, makes it more of the matte silver as opposed to the really shiny shiny silver so let it if you want it to be the really really shiny silver you've got to let it settle so don't cure it straight away just let it give it a minute or two just to settle and then cure it and then don't top coat it and that way you'll get that really shiny chromey effect. So 
so just just bear that in mind so I'm just going to carry on swatching all the colors they're very pretty this jelly blue is really lovely it's got little stars in it it's got little holographic stars in it and other bits of glitter in it too it's really pretty I was thinking about using that on my nails doing a jelly set with the um, the tips that came in the package and um, their full cover tips for um, I think I think they're the gel full cover tips soft gel um, full cover tips so I was thinking about applying them and using that that blue because that looks very cute that blue jelly type of uh, glittery stuff but yeah like I said we'll see we'll see we'll find out when I when I do it <laughs> this pink is so in your face bright i just the camera struggles to pick up even though the camera's hd and it's you know the settings are for dynamic color and stuff it neons are never picked up exactly the way they are in real life but you can see you can you can still see it's it's a bright bright pink it's wonderful very summer like uh, neon pink definitely perfect for summer toes or to summer fingers for sure that's why I chose to uh, do the design with the neon pink because I was just like oh yeah some summer bright neon definitely got to be done roll on summer seeing as the weather is getting warmer although it's up and down sometimes it's cold and rainy sometimes it's sunny it doesn't know what it's doing of, of uh, but yeah anyway so these are the colors that I was sent to have a play with and there we go that's all of them top coated so this is what I'm going to use for this set so I'm using that pink that I mentioned like before obviously you know from the thumbnail that's the one that I chose to use I'm also using this holographic cat's eye um, gel polish that I received in the previous PR pack and I'm also going to use the top coat, which again was received in the previous uh, PR pack. And the metallic drawing gel, the silver one. There it is. Can you see how it's, now that it's settled, it's more of a shiny chrome effect. And of course, the liner brush or striper brush, no, it's more of a liner detail brush to draw with. And that's the design that I decided to do. So I'm going to do the design on tips, as you saw. So first thing is to, of course, apply uh, two layers of the fluorescent neon pink. So when you are applying gel polish, always remember to not have too much gel polish on your brush. Apply your layers nice and thinly. You'll see I start in the middle of the nail before I go backwards towards the cuticle area I do this so that I don't flood the cuticle area with um, too much gel polish so by placing the uh, brush in the middle of the nail first it means some of the gel polish is dispersed to that area before I then use the brush to go towards the cuticle area therefore it's you know there's not too much gel polish on the brush and I won't flood the cuticle area which is uh, definitely something you want to be aware of when you're working on real fingers obviously with these tips it's not something I really need to worry about but I I have my routine so it's just autopilot for me to do it the way I do it it start in the middle and then go back up towards the cuticle area and long long strokes down from the cuticle area down to the furry free edge and yeah nice long strokes and you should get an even coverage of the gel polish not too thick never put too thick layers on always keep your layers nice and thin so that we know they're going to cure all the way and also so that it's less likely to wrinkle if you're putting too much gel polish on at a time gel polish can wrinkle and that's not you know it just doesn't look great so do bear that in mind so I'm going to have a play with this uh, cat's eye, you know what I'm like. I always have a play, do different designs with it and then settle with the velvet look. <laughs> I thought, I really thought this time I was going to do a design. So I'm, I'm playing around with the magnets and I'm like, mm, no, don't like that design. Did another design, no, don't like the design. The wonderful thing about the cat's eye gel polishes is if you just brush the 
brush <laughs> use the brush to stroke back over the gel polish it just resets it for you like an extra sketch and you can play with the magnet again it will stay you know you can do that as many times as you like until you cure it once you cure it obviously then it's set in place but um yeah you can play with the magnets as, as many times as you as you feel you need to before you're happy with your design and then when you cure that it will set in place but until you cure it you can just keep on going like I'm doing <laughs> I still wasn't happy with that so I go back to my usual of the velvet look I just I just love this effect it's it's my favorite effect and you any if you've watched any of my other videos with cat's eye gel polishes you'll know I have a penchant for the velvet look effect so that's the one I settled on I did try you can't say I didn't try I did I really did try to think of a different design <laughs> but yeah, as you saw I just wasn't happy with the magnetic designs that I had come up with so I have went to my fallback velvet look and yeah I just it's so cool though I love this effect and this holographic cat size just lush it's so gorgeous and it can go over any color it's just stunning and I thought it just looked really pretty over this uh, pink. So now I am going to use some of the chrome uh, drawing gel. And I'm making my design as making my design up as I go along. So I'm just playing it by ear and just testing out the, the chrome polish, but also oh, well metallic gel polish and testing out the brush. Now as you can see you can get very fine lines with this brush it's really nice to work with actually and you all know my hands shake a, a ton so yeah if I can get fine lines I know everyone else can definitely it's a very nice brush I was happy with it and I like that it's got a lid to protect it as well so yeah I'm really impressed with that it's definitely um, in my pot of brushes for favorites light uh, liner brushes definitely one of my new faves for sure I mean I've got other liner brushes but this one just seems I don't know it's very fine and I can get very fine lines the the um, metallic gel is it's not too thick so that you can get the fine lines if it was a thicker gel I think you might struggle to get the fine lines but given the consistency of it it's yeah it's definitely possible to get fine lines with it and um, I was I was really impressed so by doing you know the design very close to each other you can see how fine the lines can be um, yeah the definition is great happy with it that I've got nothing too bad to say about the metallic gel or the neon gel polish or the brush I'm, I'm happy with everything so thank you ever so much born pretty for working with me so I'm just going to top coat them and uh, that's that's the video almost at the end so so footage and photos at the end but like I said thank you ever so much born pretty for working with me I've really enjoyed these products if you guys um, fancy getting your hands on any of these bits and bobs the um link to born pretty and discount code and all of that is in the description box below the video so yeah go ahead feel free to use that you're welcome to obviously you don't have to either but you know choice is yours anywho that's all i've got for this time thank you ever so much for coming to my channel spending some of your most precious time with me i appreciate you thank you ever so much if you have not done so already please go ahead and click that subscribe button join the frosty fam i'd love to have you if you've enjoyed this video click the like button and uh, leave me a comment if you feel like it that's all i've got for this time peeps you take care now and i'll speak to you all again very very soon bye for now someday soon i'm gonna make it